Hey everyone, it's Jasmine from White Line Games and today we're going to be taking a look at the 0082 Arcade Stick by Piet Sen. So let's get straight into it and start with what's in the box. In the box you'll find a couple of things, the Arcade Stick itself, or so I should hope, and a couple of manuals. Nothing too fancy all in all, but everything you need to get started. Now in terms of aesthetic appeal, the overall design is sure to evoke that sweet, sweet nostalgia. The board has a plastic ball top lever with a square gate and a steel stick. I could still get away with a plastic one, but the metal ones just feel a little bit more premium and sturdy in my opinion. The buttons themselves are not the worst, but also not the best. They don't really have any resistance to speak of, but they do have a nice spring back and quick response. Overall, the fighting stick has an iconic yet minimal profile that wouldn't look out of place on a modern desk setup. What I really love about this edition is that we also have some beautiful retro colours on the buttons, which really pop to make it stand out. Right here we have a rubberized wrist rest. I dare you to say that really fast so when you've had a couple of drinks. We also have four sturdy suction cups on the back that make you feel as though you're trying to pick up Thor's hammer when it's stuck to a smooth surface, which is probably what you want when you're trying to hit those combos in Mortal Kombat. Now let's talk about compatibility. What I really like about PSN in general is that the majority of their products are multi-platform and the 008A2 is no different. You can hook this bad boy up with your Switch, Xbox One S, PS4, PS3 and PC. The choice is yours. As you can see, I've linked it to my Xbox and I've been testing it out with games such as Killer Instinct and Mortal Kombat 11. I've not yet tried it with any classic arcade games or 2D platformers, but I imagine it would also work quite well with them. So what about modability? Let's open this up and check out the internal parts. You'll find a total of six screws on the back, four of which are slightly hidden by the suction cups, but are easily removed with a regular Phillips screwdriver. Now if you do decide to open this up, be mindful of connecting parts attached to both sides. The good news is that there is potential here for modding, if that's what you're into, but the bad news is that it could be tricky to replace the buttons as their profile depth is pretty low compared with standard switches. So it's something to keep in mind if you want to switch up the buttons in future. All in all, if you're big on fighting games and you're wanting to relive the golden days, I definitely recommend picking one of these up, especially for the £40 price point. If you're tempted to pick up an arcade stick because you want to improve your performance, keep in mind that it's going to take some time to rewire your brain and go from this, this or this to this. Thank you to PSM for providing the arcade stick to review and as always, thank you for watching. Catch you next time.